D-Lo, ay, yeah, clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, it's even been clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn off a way. Ooh, yeah, see that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? Shabu what up? Shabu Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another video today. You feel me? 15 scares. WWE wrestlers of all time. All time. It only makes sense and we're in the, since we're in the month of October. Yes, Halloween sir. is right around the corner. So we're going to keep checking out some of these creepy or, or scarier type videos, man. We all know there was some scary type wrestlers back in our day growing up. We had The Undertaker, Kane. Um, there was one character, uh, the Boogeyman. <laughs> he wasn't for me. He wasn't scary, but I'm sure for kids, he was. He was going around eating worms. You and like shit. my uh, little rendition of what you were saying, like the sign language version of. Yeah, I, I just, I just tuned it out. <laughs> so I didn't lose it helped train somebody. Of <laughs> but yeah, no, the Boogeyman. I it, it's the the fray. The the name was already scary, so. The name may have been scarier than the actual character, mm -hmm. but it was still kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to check this out, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys been showing on the channel, man. Let's see. Let's go. Let's see what they talking about, man. Have you ever wondered how anybody can handle being hit with a chair or survive being kneed to the face or being body slammed from midair? Or how in the wild world of wrestling, strong fighters are able to throw each other around with effortless maniacal joy oh, and Jake flair? Jake the Snake Roberts. From the boogeyman to viscera, here are the 15 scariest WWE wrestlers of all time. Not sometimes, but all time. Number 15, Boogeyman. The haunt of dreams, the red-faced demon <laughs> of horror that always knows how to put fear, haunt, and hesitation into go. the heart of man. The wrestler who See? made children afraid to turn on their television. With a clock that's <laughs> always ticking, a crazy smile, and with what little teeth remain. Bro, this renegade teeth would remain. speak with his mental asylum slogan, The Boogeyman is coming to get you. <laughs> I'm the boogeyman, and I'm coming to get ya. Yeah. Really causes everyone yeah. to be queasy and uncomfortable yeah. in his presence. Talk about ominous. There's no way that I'd want the funny, boogeyman bro. chasing <laughs> after me. <laughs> a battle that. often uh. won before a fight. This crazy man always instills and inspires unsavory disaster for yeah. his opponents and leaves the audience bereft of expectation, <laughs> never knowing what to expect, other than a lot of unpredictable, creepy actions. <laughs> the Boogeyman has a history of appearing in unexpected places. <laughs> Would you want to shake hands with the boogeyman? I mean, grave. Check under your bed and in the cupboard, or else you may find the clocks ticking for you to be taken down by the boogeyman and his creepy silver I'm spoon. Good on it, bro. Yeah, I'm straight. Before yeah. we go on, like this video, mm -hmm. smash the subscribe um, button, definitely can be some the nightmare fuel for kids. Right now, kids or watch this so you see that? That probably, you sleeping. know, what I'm saying, <laughs> terrify you. Of course. Number fourteen. Viscera. Viscera. This is the 500 pound, 226 sure. kilograms, six mm -hmm. foot. I believe sure. he did pass away. Uh, the wrestler. Uh, you don't want nobody put put nobody in the grave if they're not. But I think I think so. Mm hmm. Uh yeah, he died in uh 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, heart attack, man. Rest in peace, man. Rest, Rest in peace, peace Viscera, bro. bro. And a half 199.4 centimeter giant. Viscera oh. was the Goliath of the wrestling ring and had no qualms about running through any obstacles in his way. He was always creepy, man though. or oh, man made. Sure. Arriving on the scene in 1993, Viscera Ooh. caused his enemies to face the brick wall of his imposing size That's and skill like man. an unstoppable force. Right, look at that. You can't get up from that. He would charge his oh prey God. down with a oh. hey, hey. Come, on. Come on, man. Come on, like a rag doll. 
Would you stand in front of a charging bull? I wouldn't tempt this charging mindless monster, or you may find yourself in pieces strewn across oh. the floor. They say the bigger you are, Stop the, the harder meds. you fall. Facts. But if your opponent never falls, and then not only that, but picks you up like a rag doll and sends you into a state of permanent disarray, oh, then what do you do? God. If it doesn't kill you, it'll oh. make you strong. Oh, but yeah. if it kills you, well, if you ask me, I would run. Run like the wind. That is the <laughs> only logical decision when faced with certain doom. Even Undertaker Number 13, Undertaker. What? He's the Undertaker is a man who resembles death right. outside I think, I and inside be like number the one or two. Creepy undertones of death, and carnage, possession, and darkness. I want to see what they put in front of him. you could resist yeah, the Undertaker's the Undertaker. sinister sentiments? This is a man who dances with the darkness, living in darkness. Bro, His only time definitely. in the life was hanging <laughs> in misery on his enemies in the ring, causing no. audience, fans, and wrestlers to shiver and sweat. No! No! Oh, his that was the hand. Nobody else could take up the mantle and That's why he should be like number his one. Are unknown other than to he used to scare me as a kid, a bro. Stop to all who were I thought he was a dead man. A dead <laughs> man, bro. The Undertaker would relish and thrive on. His presence on the battlefield is one of tension and great. This nigga intentions. coming out of a goddamn cast. Demoralizing all his enemies with no, it don't get no worse than that. shadowy mystery. Into the cage just to get away from the Undertaker. Inside the cage. <laughs> a past life of collections and boxing, coming to the wrestling ring was a natural fit that makes him a truly terrifying man. He was called that basketball from what I heard. Yeah. He was pretty nice that basketball man, stand. Even without the name of the life. Undertaker. <laughs> That's a dead 12. Kane. That's a arguable. Terrifying that, monster he, he, on the battle. But they still they should high. Should be high. Destructive force to behold, standing it up to seven he's feet in height, bro. with the sentiment yeah, of a man was... fueled by dark desires. Now he's a, a politician. He's a mayor. Yeah. Disaster comes. Kane's a mayor. The flip. What the hell is that? The fearsome <laughs> oh, presence that life. makes less imposing men quiver and bro. quake. He Should anyone mayor. be foolish enough to fight a man filled with such rage and darkness, it would surely be their own perilous demise. Kane leaves a scorched trail of destruction in his wake yeah. wherever his footsteps take him, with a desire, passion, and fury to <laughs> set the hearts of all those around him. <laughs> that's so funny, bro. Would you this dance with the off. rage and darkness <laughs> of the fearsome Kane of creation? Slam, Involved in numerous feuds and all oh. battle royales, Kane teamed up with some of the biggest hardest oh, hitting players too. in the wrestling game <gasps> went up against the toughest and meanest Fuck. opponents. Able to handle himself on his own outside and inside the ring, Kane fed the darkness with his service with the savagery of a man cursed with mindless <laughs> anger, pouring God, destruction on any unfortunate <laughs> who got in his it. way. It's that Number unexpected... 11, <gasps> Gangrel. Oh, you know Gangrel, he used to the out half too. man, half blood sucking I remember vampire. that, boy. Groove? This behemoth yeah. of destruction. Yeah, that's, oh. would drink blood that, from a goblet and spit it out me, with his bro. shining white shirt stained the in the gory attire the that was his namesake. Grimly alluding to his supernatural prowess, this me, fearsome character was definitely an advocate for the darkness and shadows. With fangs bared, he would pounce on his enemies, oh, bring them oh. to their knees, and have them beg for mercy. He fought with the greats of his time and with a supernatural physique. For real, Just I thought he was a by vampire. The vampire like, hey, yo. Sound like they got vampires in the wrestling? I was like, hey, yo. If I were you, I would run in the other direction with absolutely no second Damn. thought. As the second he got a scent of crazy. your fear and trembling, he would be upon you like the nightmare that haunts dreams sooner than you can even imagine. Look at the little kid, he's just over there like he's chilling. Right. I could have did that back in the day. Just the Teaming eyes up with teeth. some big wrestling names and forming the brood, they joined uh -huh. the Ministry of Darkness. Then, later, fighting one of the most powerful groups in wrestling, the brood fought the Hardy Boys with climactic results. Number 10, mm. Papa Shango. 
With oh, a creepy, Papa haunting Shango. voodoo oh, yeah, magic weird. background and talent, the icon Papa is, Shango had is, yeah, Cross Me At Your Own Detriment written all Either over. Like a, um, With a skull in a, hand a, that a smoked keeper. from the inside, huh? like, enchanting uh, the Vikings, those that were there to the see his mesmerizing mm -hmm. enchantments, a face ghostly white, drained of natural color, and a necklace she of jumped. bones, <laughs> this strangely creepy superstar's haunting <laughs> appearance. He's oh, selling it, dog. He is. pound hulking figure, Big Papa Shango was a villain you wouldn't want to mess with. Papa Shango's curse. I'm shooting yeah. everyone. He oh, was this is, oh, this is nightmares. Oh, lights, which led to strange like, goings on in the real ring. They, would even cast is, spells and curses to cause a really legit scared and make him. them vomit from a distance. Yeah, yeah. A character that really shined in the dark, he was able to create effects that made other figures question their own sanity for being in the ring. Papa Shango was not the kind of demon you wanted to come across, regardless of the circumstances. Yeah, no. <laughs> what was that, dude? <laughs> Using black Cast magic to intimidate, not Shango infamously magic. caused a strange, dark liquid to ooze from his enemies. The witch doctor, Papa Shango, is a truly fearsome wrestler indeed. Number 9. Relic. Don't know not who that much is. is known about this mysterious he said relic not much is past. known about However, what is known is that relic is the term killer backwards. The play oh. on words leaving a striking image in the minds of his enemies. Oh, on a murderous and unsavory journey, and with the sanity of a ravenous, mindless murderer, Relic the Killer was destined to incite chaos and fear into the hearts and like, minds of his enemies. Like, I'm supposed to be fighting who this week? <laughs> oh! do you think you would last standing next to the serial killer of a wrestling maniac? This horror of unknown has been seen to be covering up what appears to be blood from the scene of a murder and wearing a mask with red and black and piercing eyes that shone through the masquerade that hides dark motives. This fearsome creature plagued by the unknown brought fear and havoc to the ring. Not notable for getting along with others due to the state of his psychotic rampages in the ring, oh, he was a fearsome and imposing force of demonic escapades. One really has to question the sanity of anybody willing to go toe to toe with oh, the on. one and only Damn. mindless relic. Number 8 Fall Bearer. Okay. A mortician by trade, this fearsome manager handles right. some you know. of the scariest names out this there. Is opinion. With fear yeah. as a currency. Oh, yes, Mr. Rest in peace. He is remembered as the unsettling caretaker of intimidating superstars like The Undertaker, uh -huh. Kane, and Mankind. Yeah. All wrestlers oh, attuned yes. to darkness and <laughs> evil ambitions. He used to scare me too. Paul Bearer was pale faced and dressed in a oh, dour was, black pale, suit. Pale. The grim looking Paul Bearer was about as pleasant as stomach pain, which made him <laughs> a perfect stomach fit pain. for his role as the eerie spokesman for the demon from Death Valley. Always found in the strangest of places, ah, he his sinister glare would cause an <laughs> unsettling, unsavory, and uncomfortable feeling in the stomachs of his enemies and captivated audience. Promoting his minions with an uncanny skill, he would send forth his army to conquer with eerie mystique, calling on powers that are unearthly and unnatural to bend the will of others in his conquest to dominate the wrestling world in darkness and obsession. It seemed to be the case that if you were controlled by by Paul Bearer, you were a slave to darkness, and if you were not, <laughs> you were doomed to the destructive forces oh, wrought bro, by the back darkness. Then, boy. That shit was Number insane. seven, Abdullah the Butcher. Don't know At who 183 that is. centimeters, 163 kilograms, Abdullah. this evil Arabian sadist had wow, cuts oh, all over his scalp and head hey, due to oh! the use of excessive blading during his career. Oh. It's been said that you can put gambling chips into the crevices of his cuts oh, because they're so deep. Yeah. Abdullah's knowledge of judo and karate was instrumental in oh. his professional wrestling career. He slipped the object to Abdullah. But it happened when we saw the tape later, I saw it. His skills in combat with raw power. He was known as a rule breaker, oh, damn. using chairs and gimmicks damn. to genuinely knock opponents out. This monster was well, known to cause mayhem with a in his wrestling lives inside and outside the ring, causing oh! him to be a name that was 
not only feared, but at times despised and condemned. Ew. So all press is good press, but oh. this madman with his blades in hand was a creature that made the flesh of man tear apart in a bloody and disgusting fashion. Due to his character and nature, leaving scars and permanent repercussions for his friends and Jeez. foes alike, depending on his mood. What crazy person would want to wrestle at the would. Butcher? Yeah, I'm good on Number that. Number six, Kevin Sullivan. Kevin Sullivan, a man truly possessed by the dark forces in the world, took me to the seventh step on the seventh veil. Whoa. He told me began as a brawler and later evolved into the man who went to characterize the play with that. intent of life <laughs> and embodied yeah. the moral implications so dark that it would need a great deal of healing to unravel the pain and misery brought down upon all who witnessed this, this old school right here. No, this so is like the manic poet on a charismatic campaign what to they end saw the, the sanity of real those happening. fighting in a good name. With behavior that embodied a man enthralled and in the throes of insanity, Kevin Sullivan was a name that many did not want to know. But for wrestling fans, he was a draw card of doom. Over there. You've done nothing for this company. The oh, they about to whoop this nigga with a chain. Well, that's what I'm about to say. It's <laughs> our campaign to bring down the big names in wrestling. A truly dark character, Kevin surrounded himself with an evil group of misfits. He walked in wickedness with every step all the way to the end of his career as a wrestler. A bitter end with horror emanating from each and every them. step. God Number damn. five, Jeff Hardy. A champion without the need for... I know he had his creepy moments I mean, later in this year, like later, like when he was with TNA, uh, he had yeah, some creepy uh, moments. Yeah, but Jeff wasn't but uh, over Undertaker and yeah, all these other that's, people. That's that's crazy. That I mean, I guess you if you want to really look at it, the nigga is kind of scary because the nigga will willingly I mean, jump off of anything. Just to end you, but it's like I want to see that though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe the face, that. the you know, the 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 paint on the face sometimes could be a little creepy. But I wouldn't put him over the Undertaker. That's just me. Yeah, I'm personal feelings. That's just my personal gimmicks problem. and excuses. Y'all can redo the list on your own. Wrestling ring falling from heights of up to <laughs> a terrifying twenty foot high that most would think thrice over to bring absolute destruction upon his enemies and often himself. Uh, I got swan Tom. Oh, man, I used to watch you when you were cool. With a move he has perfected <laughs> over the course of his 20 plus year career, the Swanton Bomb. This Swanton. aerobic Swanton. extremist Swanton. brought Swanton. all of the Swanton. incredible Swanton. finishers Swanton. in wrestling to shame. Swanton. His antics Swanton. caused Swanton. fear and excitement in the hearts of fans and wrestlers alike. The wrong letter when you think in of there. why you would want to watch a wrestling match, Jeff Hardy is the definition of the exemplification of a titan. A skilled, agile, and powerful wrestler. Do you think you could go one-on-one -on -one with this professional athlete? Jeff Hardy was a revolutionary wrestler with experience from countless matches. Oh, Solo Jeff, or bro. with his brother Matt Cody. and his crew, the Hope Hardy he's doing better, man. Oh, he's doing better, man. that other wrestlers nah, could sure. only dream of due to his skill as a wrestler rather than uh -huh. relying on antics. His fearless combinations earned him respect and renown in the wrestling world. It's champ. not hard it to see great. why Jeff Hardy was a name that will be remembered and feared throughout wrestling history. Number four, the Snake oh, Roberts. Uh, yeah. Okay, I, the this, Snake Roberts was a man sense. who fully embraced the man dark side of was the wrestling around with business snake and ethically compromised oh, morality. Snake. I couldn't fight you. Mm -mm. Nah, he was creepy, bro. Enacting and embodying contentious subjects with vigor, enthusiasm, and showmanship, he stunned those around him with genuine fear, <laughs> trapping his opponents in rooms with snakes <laughs> and locking the door behind them, or putting snakes yep. on opponents that Bro, were knocked we out for a time in the fight. ring. Is this the sort of enemy oh, you would want to no. face? The Snake Roberts had a complicated ideology and artistic expression. This I don't give a damn what they are. Wooed the hearts of snakes into the destruction of his I enemies, think, I'm not training sure. them to obey him and to attack enemies. His earlier escapades left him with an image that scarred and scared the hearts of fans and wrestlers uh, with think... demonic and evil theatrics. 
just more are they going to show the one the where the, the snake the actually bit somebody? Yeah. He was from tied up in a rope. He later seemed to recover from somebody. his obsession with evil. What a momentous tale that was. Like a villain turned into a hero, ready to strike again with fangs at the ready. I'm he good. continued to dominate after his return for some time, still inspiring just as much fear with an easy smile and a light heart. I'm good Number on three, Ox I'm Baker. The big and strong heavy hitting Ox oh, Baker, time. a yeah, champ that definitely. can bring all the pain with his famous the move, the Heart Punch, which he called the Hurt Punch. Just a second, I have a few things to say oh. here. With great it's the hurt, eyebrows, he would bro. Say, I love to hurt people. With an imposing 196 centimeters in height and the beard of a real man, Ox Baker <laughs> was a warrior in the ring that didn't want to make friends with anybody. The name of the game was to bring the pain to anyone. Oh, they for real. Walking around with gimmicks and fancy <laughs> they will go. Auto, Ox Baker would go toe to toe with anyone who thought they had a chance. A fearless man that inspired fear with brute strength. And raw power claim to have ended lives in this ring. Do you think you would have the strength mm -hmm. to take down Ox Baker? Many claim to, but many fell short against the mighty Ox Baker, a rhino in the ring with a punch that hurt oh! a scorpion sting. <laughs> Number two, Doink the Clown. Doink. Nobody likes clowns, especially <laughs> that. Well, if you play the clowns, then, yeah, it makes clowns. sense. But I would I, say I, the moment you mess with the, clown. the clown, the joke's on you. They have creepy masks, appear in creepy shows. Scott Hall. Scott Hall had a substance abuse. That's problem. a little right. And just outright terrify most people out of sheer nostalgia. If you're afraid of clowns, the yeah. clown was a malicious character who would trick children and squirt them and make them cry with joyful and malicious laughter. Uh, His eyes would light it. up at the it misery is. at the effect that these actions would incite. A I mean, he's creepy for sure. A mission to cause mayhem and chaos in the rest hey, of the yo, world. Would whoa. attack opponents with fake clown limbs, water pistols in the eyes, and all the other utensils that a typical clown would. <laughs> <laughs> his enemies, a real one. Them Done. Uncanny supernatural skill. Oh! The point of difference to other clowns, however, was the monster behind the mask Ooh. who truly enjoyed causing tyranny throughout Damn. the wrestling Damn. community and hey, the show stopping the wrestling moves that would end in him laughing while his opponents would be sorely out for the count. Number one, number one? Andre the Giant. The noble-hearted, immovable giant at an insanely tall seven foot four inches or two hundred and twenty-four centimeters, and weighing a gargantuan, jaw-dropping five hundred and twenty pounds or two hundred and twenty kilograms. An opponent, the dude is big, huge. I mean, it's Andre the Giant was. Legit giant. Yeah. Proven to be larger huge. than life, this Look at him. terrifying behemoth of a man was the Goliath that the other Hulk Goliath had a, feared to fight. Uh, uh, More crazy people to fight. Even his own huh? mortal Hulk? frame could Hogan? handle. Mm -hmm. He was he a gentle some... and quiet man crazy outside foes. the ring, but drew the crowd with his power it's and towering structure. Huge. He took no nonsense when it came to dominating the big names in the wrestling world. With the heart of a champion and with a fearsome and humble nature, when awoken, he was... God. The things yeah, fears you know, are built I wouldn't from, want to take and his no. rage would send enemies buckling. <laughs> oh, bro! Oh, shit! How do you think you would fare running into Andre the Giant? Bro, he just Andre picked this dude up with one hand. Sorry to say, but shirt, trying to take bro. down Andre the Giant, you'll probably just hurt yourself more in the process. Yeah, nah, I'm good, bro. What did you think of our 15 scariest WWE wrestlers of all time? What is that? Let's, Discontinued you... the candies that went too far? Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Anywho, that was crazy, man. Uh, yep. Subjective list, man. But nonetheless, <laughs> definitely had some some creepy, creepy ones on there. Nah, for sure. Some ones that had us like, ooh, back in the day as kids. Yeah, nah, like, man. For this, sure, for sure. This is, is like I said. It just depends on how he's taking the word scary yeah. compared to like I'm thinking of just like nightmare fuel compared to. I mean, he started off with that, but. Yeah, it is. Then it, it kind of went to the more of like scary as in all oh, their scary opponents, like mm -hmm. they could do some damage to you type scary. So, like I wouldn't oh. want to face them. Yeah, 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 scared. yeah. That's so. Yeah. Hey, mean, let us know it. what y'all think of the list down below, man. Who do y'all feel like is the scariest wrestler of all time? Yeah, I'm going. I'm, this is fucking Undertaker. What are we talking about? Undertaker. It's Undertaker and then Kane. You could really just replace yeah. those two either way, but for me, it's the Undertaker, bro. He, 
He had a Dead fucking man. ministry of darkness. He yeah. he fucking sacrificed stone Sending cold people to the morgue, often, bro. <laughs> On the damn cross. He tried to. Tried to cut him open. Yeah, bro. He tried to cut him open. Like, yeah, nah, bro. I'm, I'm, it's, it's the Undertaker. Yeah. The nigga's but a dead man. Everybody got their own opinion. So yeah. we want to see what you guys think down below. Make sure you want to like, subscribe before you get up out of here, man. Keep on sharing the videos. Never forget to continue to spread love, be love. Keep God first. Catch y'all in today's video. We out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.